joining us right now as his team gets ready to take on Nevada this Saturday night. Aztecs will be going for their seventh win in a row. It's great to welcome back the defensive coordinator at San Diego State, Zach Arnett. Coach, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. I feel I feel bad to the wrestling fans. I'm delaying uh, the contest. No, no, no. You're, you you are the contest. You're not delaying <laughs> it. You are the contest. So, um, you heard you, you heard what Rocky said yesterday. The team is fortunate to have won some of the games they've won. You know, squeezing one out against winless San Jose State last week, needing a touchdown in the fourth quarter to beat Air Force. Even a couple of the other other wins were close in the fourth quarter against Eastern Michigan and Sacramento State. Do you see that as a um, a sign of concern or, hey, hey, you can win close games. Every team loves to be able to win close games. No, you, you got to win some close ones, and you certainly don't want them all to be close either. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, as a defense, we had a lead there at 13, uh, was it 13 6 at one point in the third quarter, and then we, we just keep a field goal, go up, and then go right down and score a, a game tying touchdown. You know, as a defensive player, you got the lead there. You got, you know, you don't give up. You don't give up a touchdown, you can't lose. And so, uh, you know, that, that's your only that's your only concern as a defensive player, right? Your job is to go out there every time and, and stop the opponent from scoring. So, we, we'd certainly like to make a few of these victories more comfortable because just history shows that right? you can't go a full season constantly in these nail biter games. At some points, the other teams will will make a big play or something and uh, and probably pull it out. You know, I, haven't, I haven't heard too many teams that go a whole season, twelve games, and and pull out one score game victories all year long. But you look at the at what your defense has done during this six game winning streak, coach, and in an era where, you know, offenses are putting up video game numbers and you see regular scores that are forty eight to thirty seven in college football, to not have given up more than twenty one points in any of the last six games. Fourteen, twenty one, twenty, thirteen, seventeen and 13. You got to be pretty proud of what what your unit has accomplished over these past 6 games. You know, they've done a nice job of keeping the keeping the opponent out of the end zone. Um, you know, even if you're not giving up touchdowns, if you get if they get in the red zone and you prevent a a touchdown and you make them kick field goals, it obviously takes a lot more drives to to rack up the points with field goals that it takes a, if they're scoring touchdowns. So they've done a nice job of doing that. And you know, I got to give the guys credit when the games have come down to the end, when right when someone has to make a play, guys guys have made plays. You know, it's Tariq Thompson last week intercepts a ball. I think it's a tie game, right? San Jose State's kind of driving. He goes and intercepts a pass on third down, returns it back to midfield. We end up kicking the what it what becomes a game winning field goal. Uh, you know, and you look back to the schedule. Every game, right? There's come up, there's kind of come a time late in the game where someone's got to make a play and, and they've done that guys have stepped up and made plays so that certainly makes you happy as a coach because it means you got you got some clutch performers well coach you guys nationally are top 20 in scoring defense and yards allowed defensively what has been the biggest key for you guys this year to keep those numbers down and and to to really have the success you've had defensively yeah on the defense side of the ball is Typically, you limit big plays. I mean, early in the season, right, we gave up some some long, long passes, uh, like the Stanford game. And then guys have done a nice job as we've gotten older. Guys have gotten more experience. Um, you know, they know how offenses try to attack, and, and they do a good job of putting themselves in the right position and playing with the right technique, and so they limit big plays. And then some of that stuff is also it's a product of our offense. I mean, when you run a – a pro style attack that rushes the ball, keeps the clock running, you control the clock, that keeps your defense off the field. And so you're not defending as many plays. Uh, so you see that a lot too throughout college football. It's typically teams who have a little bit more rush oriented attack and control the ball and keep the clock moving, that shortens the game and their defensive stats you know, improve. Talking to San Diego State defensive coordinator Zach Arnett here on Ben and Woods. Coach, tell me about uh, this week's opponent in Nevada. Um, when I just looking at their results, I haven't seen them, I haven't seen them play, but looking at their results, they certainly uh, seem like a very competitive team. And they, they gave Boise all, all they could handle. They beat Hawaii, who had been on a hot stretch uh, in their last game. What what are the dangerous elements for especially your defense? It's just like you said. I mean, 
they're moving the ball up and down the field. They're scoring a bunch of points. And I'm going to go to the stats right here. You know, averaging like four, over 430 yards on offense, about 33 points a game, and 270 through the air, 100, 160 on the ground. They've, I think, when the season started, they had a little bit more of an air raid. They were, you know, lining up and spread and throwing it all over the place. Now they've they've got a really deep group of running backs. They're all thick physical runners, but impressive how much shake they have and, and how many tackles they they make guys miss and break. They're running the ball really good right now, and I mean they're they're physical up front. You know they prefer their offensive line as a union. They they're doing a great job of creating movement in the run game and uh, the quarterback. You know he sees he sees coverage well and, and knows where to go with the football. He's completed 60% of his passes. So uh, yeah, I, they probably should have beat Boise, but they turned the ball over early in the game inside the 10-yard line. You look, look like you're getting ready to score, go up 10 nothing instead of give a uh, fumble it deep and Boise goes down. So instead of 10 nothing, it's 7-3 to three Boise. And then they also threw a, a 99-yard interception return for a touchdown. So turnovers – like in every game, typically are the, the difference maker and swing the momentum of the game. So we're going to have to do a good job of, of creating some turnover and create a couple extra possessions for our offense because uh, typically those are the biggest momentum changes within the game, that turnovers and special teams. Coach, who do you think is the best team in the Mountain West right now? I know that's a, a tough question for someone like yourself to answer. Uh, you know, and it could say the Aztecs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault you for that. But uh, Utah State has been a lot better than expected. Uh, Fresno State has certainly played well. You guys beat Boise, but they're always in the conversation. Who, who have you been most impressed by when you've seen other games and, and tape of your opponents? Yeah, I. Uh... I mean, the conference is extremely competitive this year. Right? I think there's any any team can line up against any opponent and and if the and have a good chance to win. Especially, particularly if the supposed better team does not show up prepared and ready to go. I mean, last week, right? We're what five and one, and zero and six San Jose. It goes down to the wire. So you can see kind of some of the parity in the league. Just looking at the all the statistical categories and typically the ones that. Uh, predict or show good teams. I, I would have to say Fresno State's playing the best because I think they're scoring somewhere right around 30-some points per game. And right now they have the number one scoring defense in the country. I think you know the last couple of weeks I've seen they gave up 3-3-7. Three, three, and seven. So I, I think the number one scoring defense in the country, they're playing really good football right now. And a lot of their victories have been by some pretty significant margins. So I would have to say right now, just look at recent history, that, that would be the best team right now in the league. Aztecs will be heading to Fresno State on November 17th. Uh, that's a little less than a month of now. Hopefully, uh, you know, the team a little bit healthier, uh, get some of those guys back uh, so you guys can be at full strength for that game. So before you go, Coach, I had a chance uh, this past weekend. Uh, my wife and I went up to Pullman, Washington. She's a Washington State alum. And uh, got to see the ESPN College Game Day. We were there live early, early in the morning. And yeah, the at- I mean, up on the Palouse, the atmosphere was so amazing. And I would, um, I would love to bring that to San Diego at some point. And I know the Aztecs have been playing. I mean, this is consistently now uh, another season where you're eligible for a bowl game. Uh, they're you're, you're constantly competing for a Mountain West title. I would love to see what do you think it's going to take to kind of get that that extra level of because I it was nothing like I had ever seen before coach the the screaming passion for college football it's I it hasn't it hasn't happened in San Diego and I want it to happen what what can we do to take it to the next level here in San Diego <laughs> I mean, all, all we can focus on is keep on winning games and right. putting a good product out on the field uh you figure out a way to get college game day here and I <laughs> I promise that'll increase the the interest as well. And I know Washington State's got a, I think, a long history with college game day, right? Because the flag has been yeah, they've been trying to get it for years and years. So it was it was right. nuts. It was crazy. No, I, I I briefly saw some of it. You know, flip on the TV before team breakfast starts and everything, and you see you see the the energy and excitement over there. So that was that was a good scene. And obviously they they backed it up with their performance. Well, I was somewhere in that uh, that zoo of <laughs> crimson and gray uh, in Pullman over the weekend, and I, I actually talked to some of the ESPN people, and I said, I would love 
to see you guys come to San Diego at some point. Um, you know, hopefully you keep winning. Give them a reason uh, to come out here, and, and hopefully if they if they do, San Diego State students will, will show up and, and make it a great time. Good luck on Saturday night against Nevada Coach. Uh, hopefully you can extend that winning streak to seven in a row and uh, stay on track to make that conference championship game. Thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having me. All right, that's uh, Zach Arnett. Uh, he is the defensive coordinator at San Diego State.